your grandma Dorothy's kitchen. I got another good one for you today. I'm going to do zucchini casserole. Okay? Alright? And so, um, it's, this is in my cookbook. See? I'm doing it for my cookbook. Alright? Summer. Because summer is almost over and we want to uh, kick it. Go out with a bang. Because I think tomorrow summer ends. So I have my um, squash. You're going to need your squash. I would say four to six squash, uh, zucchini squash. Okay. I, I, let me show you how they look so you'll know. But you, you're going to need to um, cut them up, slice them very thin like so. And this is seasoned breadcrumbs. And this is two sticks of butter. And this is one cup of sour cream. And this is one can of uh, chicken soup. And this is one cup of carrots. I grated the carrots. This is a fourth of a cup of, on of onions. And you chop them up fine. And this is just a dash of salt. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine our onions because we got we to cook it for five minutes to make them tender, tender, okay? And our squash and onions, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, cover them with water and let them cook for five minutes. And then I'll be back and we'll continue the dish. Welcome back. Now you see, you boil them, and then you drain them, okay? All right, and this is how it looks right now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our soup together. This is chicken soup. And then you're going to add your sour cream. Okay, cream it together real good so you know we have no lumps. It'll be all mixed together. All right, and now we're gonna mix it into our zucchini. Alright. It smells very good. Very good. And then the next thing we're gonna do is um we're gonna combine our butter and, and stuffing. So let's, let's combine it together. Make sure you get the season because it has herbs and in it, the season uh, stuffing, okay? All right. And we're going to stir in our carrots in the, in the stuffing so that it will be mixed in real good. Okay. Mix it and let's stir it into our casserole. This is country. This is an excellent side dish.
I'm gonna put a few more um, uh, I think I'm gonna put another cup of see I want it to be a little bit thicker I want it to be a little bit and you could do the same thing if you want it to be a little bit more Just add, add a little bit more. It's not gonna hurt. So now we're gonna spray our pan. Spray your casserole dish. Spread it out. And I got some cheese, so I'm going to put a little cheese in it, okay? Okay. Put a little cheese on top. Add the other mixture, okay? Everything is cooked already. We just need to get it browned. So let's... Let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes. There you have it. Ca my casseroles. Okay. Zucchini casserole. All right. It's an excellent side dish. Look at that. Look at that. It's too hot, but it's delicious. Delightful, gorgeous. It's very good, very good. It's a must try. It's very delicious. I have a cookbook. Now this this recipe is in my cookbook. Uh, all I added today was an extra um, cheese, but you can add cheese or you can leave the cheese off. It's very it's very very good. Okay, Doctor's Mississippi Soul Food. If you order one, I will autograph it and send it back to you by return mail. Order several. Give them to your friends as gifts. All right. Okay. Remember, I need some more subscribers. So would you please tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your coworkers to subscribe to Grandma Dot. It's free. You don't have to pay to subscribe. Okay. All right. And tell your friends. Okay. All right. And are we going to be putting up a lot of uh, recipes for the holiday, for the Christmas holiday, different recipes? And you don't want to miss it. Okay? So, all right. So, help me out and tell your friend and turn your notification button on and leave it on. So that when we put up these recipes, you'll get a notification. And you can um, comment and I'll answer. Nobody sees my comments but me and I answer all of them. I'm the one that answers all of them. Okay? All right? Uh, for, for the cookbook, you go to uh, Grandma Dada's Kitchen. And you can, you can even buy it. If you, if you don't win it, you can also buy it from the website. The website is Grandma Dotha's Kitchen. Okay, all right. Let's, what, let's see what's in my uh, wisdom treasure chest for today. Okay, all right. Uh, we're going to be talking today about uh, trust. Okay, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, because we remember, without faith, it is impossible to please God. His word says so. So we want to make sure that we keep our faith anchored in the word of God. Faith uh, simply means trusting God. Okay? Trusting God and trusting what God says. Now, you're not going to uh, trust God unless you know what he says. And you can't know what he says unless you start 
reading the Bible, okay? You, reading it for yourself, not what somebody, don't what somebody else told you. Read it for yourself, because you can read and you can read it for yourself. And you only, yes, I'm saying only three minutes a day, five, three to five minutes a day. God does not expect you. He know we have other things to do, and He knows that we can't uh, spend 24/7 in the Bible. We have other things we have to live. We have bills to pay. So he expects us to do what we're supposed to do as far as making a living. He expects that. But he also expects us to spend some time with him. If you're too busy in your 24-hour day to spend three minutes with the Lord, well, then you're too busy. Trusting someone um, you can touch and talk to is a lot easier than trusting in God, whom you cannot see. Even if you believe in God and believe he is on your side, faith can be difficult because God is invisible. The journey of walking by faith is one that is indescribable rich, rich has indescribable riches and, and is rewarding. It, it's not, but it's not going to happen by osmosis. You got to do something. You got to place your faith in God. You got to know the word of God. You got to speak the word of God. Speak the word of God. Speak the word of God every day. Speak the word of God. Don't speak your what you feel and what you think. No, because what you feel and what you think, some, we, we wake up on the wrong side of the bed some days. Some days we feel like we can, you know, uh, wrestle a bear. And other days we feel like running from the bear. So we have to make up our mind that no, no, no. This is a day the Lord has made. I belong to God. I serve God. I believe God. And I believe that what I ask God for, God will give it to me. At the, if he don't give it to me right now, he'll give it to me at the right time. You know, okay, all right. Um, so uh, uh, if you're patient, see, because not only is, is, is um, you have to have, you have, to have um, faith, you, you keep speaking the word of God also, but you've got to have patience. That's, that comes with it. You've got to have patience because, listen, God is not a Santa Claus. God is not a genie that you push a button. You know, it, it, you, you have to wait sometimes. Sometimes you wait, wait longer than others. It's not, we expect when we get up our, off our knees praying that God will do what we ask him to do, but no, it don't work like that. Sometimes God comes when, uh, quickly, and sometimes it takes time. Okay, all right? But uh, in the end, faith in the belief that you just in the disease that you desire and that you have prayed. Now, when you pray, you believe. Don't pray and worry. Don't pray and and and, and, and nullify your prayers by by uh, speaking negative about yourself. Okay, and about God. Okay, what you desire from God can happen out of nowhere. And don't try to figure God out and don't try to work it out yourself. Just give it to God. You know. Oh well. I don't know. I ain't got no. No, no don't talk like that. Talk, talk faith. And that's what God expects us. Faith. Simple faith means trusting God. That's all it means. It's trusting God. And trusting in his word. And trusting that he loves you. And that he care about you. And he wants the best for you. Okay? All right? Father, in the name of Jesus. Everyone. Under the sound of my voice. I release right now. Your peace, the peace that passes all understanding, the peace that only you can give, the peace that you give that, that the world can't take it away because you gave it. Okay, all right? And God, I break every spirit of depression and hopelessness in everyone that's listening to my voice right now. I decree it to be so. Everything that you are worried about, you're going to release it right now to God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, 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 amen. See you next time. Happy eating to you.